Hi everyone, I'm Lewis, I'm Lewis Leva, and I'm here to share my thoughts and life experiences so I can help so I can you help on you. your journey. Welcome everyone to the Lewis Leva Show. Today I have a very special topic to speak to everyone about. Not giving a shit, not caring what people have to say about you, or about me, or about anyone for that matter. Why am I talking to you about this? Because this is the number one reason people get paralyzed. It's the reason why I've held myself back for so many years. It's the reason probably you haven't done a lot of things because you're scared of getting criticized. You're scared of what your ego is going to feel when someone tells you you suck. And this happens to everyone, including myself, especially myself, because I put myself out there a lot more than normal people. If you want to get anywhere in life, you're going to have to get uncomfortable sooner or later. And that means getting criticized, getting criticized by people you love, getting criticized by people you don't know, criticized by your enemies. Everyone is a critic. But what that means is that you are going to have to take that information and cut through the noise. You're going to have to figure out what is valuable information. These people are giving you free advice. They're your consultants. They're giving you free ways of making yourself better. There's consultants out there that charge hundreds of dollars an hour to tell you where you can improve. Or you can just listen to the people who are telling you that you suck. (laughs) Well, you maybe don't suck, but you could get better. We all can get better. And that's what It's so beautiful about life that we're always constantly improving. Our brains are super, super, super old. And what that means is that a lot of the things that we used to be programmed to be scared of were things that kept us alive. But those fears and those dangers don't really exist anymore. So the only things that we actually materialize now are the fear of getting judged and being ridiculed. Because in a long time ago... We used to live in small tribes or groups of about 200 people. And if we weren't accepted, we'd be kicked out of the tribe, which means that we would probably not survive because there was a lot of dangers out there and there were a lot of specialized crafts that were done by people within the tribe. So we live our lives with a fear of being isolated because we don't want to be outside of that tribe. But I'm here to tell you today that that system no longer exists. In my life, I've been through many tribes. I had a tribe when I was growing up. I had a tribe in high school. I had a tribe in my other careers. I had a tribe in my early endeavors. And I have a tribe today. These are people that are going to be in your life during different parts of your life. And it's okay to get uncomfortable. And it's okay to do more than they do. A lot of times we kind of hold ourselves back in a big way because we don't want to make other people in our tribe, people in our life, uncomfortable with our success. We're limiting ourselves to make them comfortable. We don't want to be the guy who stopped drinking and all our friends drink and they're looking at like, they're looking at you like, what do you, you think you're too good for us now? You don't drink anymore? You're trying to improve yourself and you're making people feel awkward or, or start looking within themselves and that's okay. Maybe those people have no room left in your life. I've noticed Growing up, and up until my age now, I'm not going to tell you how old that is, I've noticed that people are like seasons in your life, and it's okay. It used to bum me out that these people didn't reach out to me anymore, or they treated me differently, or that camaraderie didn't really feel the same anymore, but it's okay. We outgrow each other, and if we didn't outgrow each other, we wouldn't become the people that we want to be. We would stay within the confines of that group. You always have to level up. And if you can take other people with you, that's a win-win. But you cannot change other people. You can only change yourself. If you change yourself, you have a great chance of influencing other people, and especially the people who are closest to you. The best way to change someone else if you don't like their attitude, if you don't like their personality, if you don't like the negative things they do, is for you to set a great example. By you doing and proving, you'll show other people around you in your life that anything is possible. And the only way you can do that is by not caring. You see, the thing that holds us back is fear. Within our mind, we have this little piece called the amygdala. The amygdala is programmed us 
to be scared of things that would normally have killed us or things that would normally have injured us, like not jumping off a cliff or those types of things. But in our day-to-day lives now, those things don't exist. So our amygdala only works to keep us safe from ridicule, from the negativity that people may say if you shoot your first video and it's not great. Or remember those 30 selfies you took this morning and you couldn't figure out which one to post and you ended up posting none of them because you were scared that the angle wasn't right? Yeah, that's your amygdala. That is the reason why we don't do so many things because we always wait for perfection. We wait for the exact perfect time for us to be able to do anything and we end up doing nothing. I will tell you one thing that I learned is that productivity and action will beat perfection any day of the week. Let me repeat that. Action will beat perfection any day of the week. I know this because I'm not perfect and I never claim to be. I am far from perfect, but I do work on myself every day. I am not trying to be like someone else. I am not trying to better myself so I can get more likes or get more followers than some other guy or some other gal. All I'm trying to do is improve myself. And when you look back, maybe not in three months, but maybe in three years or 10 years, you look back and you're like, wow, I came a long way. When I started getting in front of the camera, I didn't even have a social media following. I I wasn't even on Facebook. I was a very late adopter to all these things because I'm a very personal person, which means that I didn't like to share my intimate moments. I didn't like to share what I was eating. I thought that's all social media was good for and maybe getting in trouble. But when I understood that social media was the best way to stay in touch with your friends and family in a larger scale... I started looking at this as an opportunity. So I said, let me not just get a Facebook account. Let me actually be a contributor on Facebook instead of just being a person who goes there and looks at other people's lives and then turns around and materializes that into their mind and says, wow, that guy's 10 years younger than me. He's doing better. That's not what I wanted to do. And that's not what you should be doing. If you find yourself with a social media account and all you do is go in there and compare your lives to others, stop it. That's not what it's meant for. So in in my life, when I started doing social media and I started recording myself, I was horrible, terrible. Good thing I had a a good media coach. Shout out to Joali. Thank you so much for giving me that early on criticism. But I needed that. I, and you know what? It did hurt. And, and, and But I knew it. I, I knew I sucked. <laughs> I knew I was terrible. And it's funny because we talked to our friends and family throughout our whole lives, and we never think twice. But the moment that camera comes on and the moment you turn something on that makes you feel uncomfortable, we don't know how to speak. We don't know how to look. We don't know how to sit. We don't know any of these things because we're scared of getting criticized and we're scared of being ridiculed. If I would have stopped that day because my 40 takes, all of them were horrible, I would have never been able to send you this message today that hopefully is going to make a difference in your life. I would have never been able to educate the amount of people I've educated on YouTube. I would have probably never been able to build the successful business I have today. So thankfully, I said that my fear of losing was greater than my fear of getting ridiculed. And you know what happened? After I dropped one of my first videos, I actually got positive comments. I got people telling me, great job. I had people reaching out to me and saying, hey, Lewis, I haven't seen you in years. You look like you're doing great. I want to be a part of whatever you're building. And that made me feel good. And it only added to the reinforcement of what I needed to continue going. We are human beings. We need positive reinforcement. We're not meant to just run on fumes and positive thoughts that we create on our own. We do need our tribe to say good job once in a while. But we also have to be comfortable with the negative comments that are going to come as well. And that is something that we'll just have to talk about in another episode. We'll talk about how to deal with haters. But remember what I said, take their advice. If they're pointing something out, there's probably a grain of truth there. And what I've done in my life is anyone who's ever doubted me, anyone who's ever said you can't do something has been the biggest motivator for me, the absolute biggest 
help I could have ever had in my life is people doubting me and telling me I can't and wishing bad on me. If you're anything like me, this is going to be the best thing for your progression. So what are we recapping today? We're talking about not giving a shit. Say it with me. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I don't care about you. (laughs) There's a song I'm not going to repeat because there's a lot of curses in it. But it's by Soldier Boy. And he says he does not care what you think because you're a punk. And he doesn't care about punks. Lions don't care about the opinions of sheep. Remember, are you a lion? Or are you a sheep? I don't hear any bots. I want to hear some roars. Come on, guys. Roar with me. Roar! Yeah, that's how you do it. I hope I didn't blow your eardrums out with that. But I feel good about it. Okay, so repeat after me. I don't care. I will do it anyway. I don't care about small-minded people that are going to take jabs. Because they're going to be my positive reinforcement. That's my message for you today. Hope you can use that to become a lion. Hope you can use that to start whatever you've been putting on the back burner. Just hit submit. Just post it. Whatever it is you're doing. Put that book out that you think is going to suck. Post that video that you think you look tired or fat in. Do it. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that you progress Not what haters are going to say, only how much better you can get by just doing it. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to share this episode with anyone who you think will take value out of it. Don't forget to leave us a review. It will help grow this channel, and we'll really appreciate that if you do help us grow. Thank you. My name is Louis Leva, and today has been episode number two. Can't believe it's already episode number two. It feels like we just started yesterday. Or, yeah, we did start yesterday. Okay, so thanks guys for listening. We'll see you next time. As always, God bless, and I am so grateful for all the things that God has given me in my life. And you should be too. Take care, guys. See you next time.